Good afternoon, it's nearly evening. I'm going to be recording daily meditations with St. Augustine for April the 8th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruined souls. Amen. The title, Let Us Not Look Back. Let us not look back at what we were before Christ bought us in case we should remain stuck on the road. Let us not look back and at the same time though let us keep it in remembrance. If we look back we return to it. If we forget it, we will be ungrateful. So it is good both to remember what we were and to hate it, to remember it in order to give thanks, to hate it, in order not to return to old ways. Strengthen me, Lord, and in my heart, and my heart will remain fixed on you. Amen. I thank you, my God, for having pardoned me. How worthy you are of my love. May I never offend you again. Mary, my mother, and all you angels and saints, praise and thank the Lord for his infinite goodness towards me, a poor sinner. Amen. An act of sorrow and love. O oh God, my Father, I have sinned before you. I am not worthy to be called your son or daughter. O oh Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Have mercy on me because of your greatness and because of your love. Forgive me my sins. I love you, my God, even though I have sinned. You know that I love you. You are the God of my heart and the God who is my choice forever. I will always keep your law because it is yours and you are my God. Amen. Well, any of you who, like me, know of... Um, St. Augustine's past history. That's why I love him so much because many of us, myself included and especially, <laughs> have a history. And those words struck chords with me just now as I was reading them. And you couldn't get a more perfect response to what was an imperfect man until he found Jesus on the prayers of his mother, Monica. And I, I feel I have the same sentiments because I know my history, I know where I'm coming from. I know what I was, I know what I became and I know what God made me become. So yes, we don't look back, but you remember in a certain spiritual way and give God thanks because we are all new creations in Christ. 
That's why close family members and friends who knew certain things about you and they unfortunately and sadly years and years after they still see you because they don't see you frequently they still see you in the same light as when you were a sinner and I'm talking now of my children and their father, who's never stopped reminding them of my sins. <laughs> he needs to look at his own. <laughs> but So it's always refreshed and refreshed with them. And they just think, after all these years, it's many years since I've changed. You could say from, I forget, the change would have begun in 1980, but it didn't start hitting until the early 90s and then God really had grabbed me and I've never looked back so look how many years ago that is but my children who are 56, 55, nearly 54, nearly 40 something well not not the youngest one he, he wouldn't have been under the same influences but um, I'm sure they still look on me as the way they looked at me all those years ago <laughs> But we know God knows us, so we don't have to worry, do we? They should worry about themselves. Anyway, God bless you all. Thank you for listening to me. And I'm sending you God's peace and abundance. I'm praying for your healing if you need healing. And may you always be joyful and happy in the Lord. Have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs>